Hey guys, tonight obviously we are not doing barbecue. We're indoors because a big old storm is a brewing. So we're gonna be cooking indoors tonight. And if we're gonna be cooking indoors, we're gonna be cooking Italian food. We need the very best red wine, which we have. So uh, we're gonna just show you a little step by step. There ain't gonna be no talking, no instruction. You just gonna have to follow along. What do you want? I'm not gonna say anything. Get back here. Alright, so now I got my garlic in there. You see that? Fresh tomato product. And we'll be back with you in just a minute. Gotta put a little red wine in there. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, if I can do this without killing myself or splashing on Dawn, is I'm going to slowly and carefully take the bell pepper, tomato, marinara that I made with garlic, onions, um, what is it, garlic, onions, red bell peppers, fresh tomato, that's right, and some canned San Marzano tomatoes. And of course I did my own little Italian seasoning in there, which basically consists of basil, marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, salt and smoked uh, black pepper. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and pull this around real well. Okay, I've got my rigatoni and uh, penne rigate in there. And guys, I don't know if I ever told you, but if you can find the pasta that's got the ridges, rigatoni means with ridges, um, please, please use that because what happens is when you make a, a baked dish such as this, what it's gonna do, or really any pasta dish that has tomato sauce or cream sauce, those ridges allow not only the product to get inside the tube, which is why we use rigatoni in the first place, but it also will help adhere to the outside because of those ridges. So just a little pro hack there to, to get the smooth one. Well, you're just gonna be eating pasta and then your sauce will be dripped off on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this into my casserole dish there. And I'm going to take my, I bought some really cool chili on gene, chili on gene, it did a boy, avante cevoya, porco bandia madana did boy. Huh. What this is, guys, this is tiny little pearls, if you will, cherries. Chili on gene means cherries in Italiano. We're going to take those, we're going to put those, disperse those throughout, we're going to stir it up, we're going to put it into a preheated 375 degree oven, and let it go for one hour, and we're going to be ready to eat. Be back with you in just a moment. Okay guys, one hour at 375. Oh wow, that looks good, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Okay, so we're about ready to serve this up. Oh man, that looks good. Oh, look at that, all the mozzarella that we put in there. Oh, look at that, oh, oh yeah. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna hit that with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil there on top and we will be ready to eat. So just hit that drizzle, just a drizzle, 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 drizzle. Olive oil is good, it's got a lot of good fats for you. So this is a very, very healthy dinner and we hope that you enjoy it and uh, stay tuned for more of these dishes. It's not all gonna be barbecue. You never know what it might be, but tonight folks, Don, if you'll take a really, and get the shadow out of there, if you get a good close up of that, let the people enjoy. And folks, we'll see you next time on Barbecue Rockstar.